I see you googling that, I see you searching, I know you want to know how to connect your phone to your Linux laptop, your ringer to Linux. I'm going to show you how to do that, we're going to use KD Connect to do this. Let's jump right into it. So first off, clap snip snip, that's my style, we've got to um, install it. Your results may vary but for me the package was called KDE-Connect, like so. So I went ahead and installed that with DNF because that's what I use. Right. As we can see, already installed. That gives you a few packages. The one we want to look at today is called KTE Connect. One word, this time one word, not two, not two. KTE Connect app, A-P-P, -P. enter. We launch that, there you go. It immediately, right, it is launched and it has found my phone. Sam, it's a Samsung, I, I hopefully that data there is not uh, applicable to doxing myself, but anyway, you already know my name. Uh, so you want to go on to your Android app store, I believe it's also an iPhone, uh, and look for the KDE Connect app, there you go, you can see it. That's the only app I have, KDE Connect. Really hope the bloody camera's recording. So I'm going to launch this app on my phone. Let's do phone cam. We're pro, I'm holding this. <laughs> phone cam, right. So you see, you can see it on the computer, and now you can see it on here. So I'm going to open this up, and you can see I've paired it to my... Uh, this is actually a Windows PC, so it, it, KDE Connect works on Windows. Uh, Epsilon is my ThinkPad, Terra is my old PC, and Terra 2 is the current PC. Uh, as you can see, well, I won't show you, but uh, on Terra 2, I won't show you with the camera. Up there. Right, so I'm going to press Available Devices, Terra 2. Request pairing. We get a little key here. Look at that, I get a notification in the corner. I don't need to show you the screen with the camera, Mark, gosh. And then, um, and then we just pair in here, like this. Look, it says pair requested, accept. And then as I click accept, bam, there we are. I'm now connected to the PC. So, uh, I don't know how best to show this, but let's just show this off a bit. So the best one I like is remote input. So I use this a lot as a, a media thing. So let me show you, you can see both at the same time here, look, I'm moving this like this, and the uh, the mouse is moving. And you can obviously, there's a keyboard up here so you can get inputs and stuff. This is the one I like the best, if, I, if I'm using it as like a little input ting. Sorry I'm so close, I know I'm not my, uh, I'm not the most handsome chap. Um, but yeah, uh, we've got that. One other cool thing, run command, so I can just register commands here. Um, there we go, look. You can add commands on desktops, now I can add commands. Let's look at some sample commands, like reboot right this lock screen. Uh, let's add lock, lock, lavoc, and command. I don't know what actually goes in here, let's do... Ah, oh, there it is, so it's home mark, box scripts, lock screen. Okay. Right, so I've registered that command, and then we should be able to, if this doesn't mess up my recording, even more. I've registered that command. Okay, no I haven't. Run command. There it is, it's Lavoc, you see that? So if I click that, hey, it does, it locks my computer. Okay, there we go, we learned something new today. I wonder if that broke all my recording. Let me unlock that. Cheeky. Okay, recording still seems to be going, microphone's working, cool, so there we go, so we can register commands on our phone to run them, very, very cool. Ah, uh, yeah, another cool thing is, um, so multimedia control, so I've actually got a YouTube video in the background here, I've, I've clicked on, um, if I click, <laughs> if I click multimedia control here, look, I can press play, and then you should be able to hear the jam. Oh yeah, right, uh, stop, because I can't hear it, and it's actually stopped the video. Very cool. Slideshow remote, I'm going to show you the slideshow remote now. Jesus, I should have thought this out beforehand. Oh my god, right. <laughs> slideshow remote, right, you see this? So I can now lock my device and use the volume keys to go forward and back, so I'm locking it like that. I go open this amazing presentation here, make it big. Uh, it's on the wrong screen, so you're going to have to see it this way, but I'm going to use the next volume key now on my phone. Yeah, okay, look, KD Connect works on any phone. 
Very cool. And then you're going to see a picture. I'm going to press the volume again. Uh. Okay, that, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Forward. Works on your phone. So you don't have to go like... Oh! You don't have to go like... Oh! You don't have to go like... Next slide, please, Jeff. Can I have the next slide, please? You just go like this. Bam! There you go. You get a Motorola Razr, the greatest phone I ever made. Um, unfortunately, I don't think KD Connect will work on that. Anyway, right, so you see there's a bunch of stuff on here. Okay, we can do really cool stuff. Uh, all these little plugins we've got. Um, but I'll close that for now. And then this will close. And then I want to run, this is the, the program you'll want to run on Starter. It's called KD Connect, uh, sorry, KD Connect Indicator. Right. And as I run that, a little, I have to show you this on the camera because I'm recording the wrong screen, but if I use the old zoom, not zoom, but zoom, look, I've got this indicator here and I can click it and I can do things like I can ring my device here. So this little indicator has come up in my hot bar and if I open up my phone here uh, and then I click ring device, it rings really loud and I click found and then it stops. Ooh la la, that's very cool. Uh, and from here you can actually get access to more things. So I'll move this onto a screen you can see. Uh, but, well, you can't access more things, but there you go, you can configure it and all that jazz. But you, I can also check my phone's battery level on here. Um, I don't know if you can see, it says 80% battery. So we're doing, we're doing pretty well. Uh, but there I can also... I can also share files between the two devices, I can share clipboards between the two devices. You see here, there are lots and lots and lots and lots of plugins. Uh, so yeah, you can do basically anything with it. Uh, it's really cool. I definitely don't take full advantage of it. Oh, another thing that I really like is that you get your phone notifications on your... They come through your, like, notify send daemon. So mine used Dunst on i3 and it is very cool that, you know, they pop up there and then I can ignore them even harder. Uh, so that's about it for KDE Connect. Uh, loads and loads of plugins, very brief overview of it. Play with it, find out what you want to use it for. I mainly use it for the, the remote input, you know, I plug my ThinkPad into, ThinkPad into my telly and then I get a smart TV with it. Brilliant, wonderful, fantastic. But that remote commands thing is really cool and I'm going to take advantage of it. There's ways where you can do this like over VPN so you can have a little hacky, cool funness. But that, that remote lock screen is fun, you know, you're you're out and you're like, oh, I've forgotten to lock my screen. You just VPN into your house, lock the screen. Done. Easy peasy, easier said than done. But anyway, anyway, subscribe for more KG Connect videos. Subscribe for more normal videos. Subscribe for more normal videos. You'll want to do it. Because I'm going to get really, I'm going to be really big one day. And then you can say, I was one of his first 1,000 subscribers. And that will mean something to you and me. Love you. Bye.